Caitlin, Caitlin, it's time to start. A minute, a minute, Artin. We gotta start our episodes. I, hang on, I'm almost gonna win here. Oh. All right, let's go. I am so distracted, because I am down here at Code Ninjas in Martaloop, and we are gonna talk to the kids, the actual coders. These kids are creating games, games like I'm playing here, literally created by the kids here. So let's go in and go find out what projects they're working on, come on. Hi, what's your name? Finn. Finn, how old are you? Uh, 12. 12 years old. And what belt are you? Uh, brown. Brown belt. So after, I'm not a ninja expert, after brown comes black belt? Uh, red belt. And then? Black. Oh, so you're like super close. Yeah. That's amazing. And what project are you working on right now? I'm uh, working on uh, some stuff in the belts. So I'm working on a game called Jungle Escape. And then in my free time, I'm working on uh, this one horror game project that's like a fishing simulator thing. Okay, so there's like belt projects that help you earn belts, but you also get free time to create whatever you want? Yeah, I work on a lot of games when I'm at home, and then I work on the belt projects here. Excellent. So you actually can do both at home. So what you learn here, you take home and you start building. Yes. So which project do you want to show me? Um, I'll show the fishing thing that I just brought up now. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, so I've been working on this one since about September. It's not finished and um, it's a bit buggy, but it's meant to look super happy and joyful, but then like it's a horror game in disguise. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that you thought about that kind of in the branding. Yeah, I've built this in uh, Scratch, not any text coding so it's all built in blocks which that's pretty hard to do because this engine isn't built to do that much advanced okay. things so the goal of the game is to do what uh to collect fish and escape so i'll just i'll just skip to there actually how did you come up with this idea i love um horror games and Five Nights at Freddy's is one of them. And then I also like, uh, have a deep fear of what's in the ocean. So I kind of just combined those two and now we're here. That's amazing. So you're taking your own life experiences and putting them into your game. Yes. Does your character have a name? No, it's uh, your name, I guess. Oh, you get to input your own name. Yes. Excellent. So you said you're gonna skip ahead so you can actually skip to where you wanna be in what scene? Yeah, so I'll skip the shop and stuff because I added upgrades and like how to sell your fish, but I added this. So you have to press space bar to fish and the closer this is to the middle. So when you press space, this goes down. Yeah. The closer it is to the middle, the more fish you get. Okay, so it's like a timing challenge. Yeah. And then after this, the actual game will start. So this is like a challenge in between the actual storyline of the game? Uh, yeah. So I'm on the tutorial right now, so it isn't that hard. Oh, you got one. Right in the yeah. center. And um, it won't have all the monsters, but this game is based off of like audio cues. So it'll be hard to play without my headphones on. Fair enough. Fair enough. So what grade are you in in school? I'm in grade uh, six. And what's your favorite subject? Math. Math. Why do you like math? I just find it easy, so. <laughs> That's good. Do you use math in what you do here? A lot. A lot. This is cool. Do you, so do you do the storylines and write all the, the text as well? Yeah, so I have a tutorial thing here and you could press X to advance, that explains it. Yeah but you hold W to go forwards on here. And once you get to the end, it you get your fish. And if you die to one of the various monsters, you don't get your fish or anything. This is amazing. Are you the only person in your class who's creating games right now? Um, there's about one or two other kids, but not exactly on this level. But um, I actually teach a class in my school how to code in Scratch. So I've, uh, I'm teaching tomorrow. So you said you're 12 yeah. and you're teaching one of the classes in your school. Yes. 
That's incredible. Yeah. I've been teaching that class for about maybe a year now, and this is gonna be my final year because I go on to an online school, so like on meetings and stuff, and that's happened since COVID. So I'm going back to in-person and I'm switching to middle school, so I won't be able to teach the class anymore. But yeah, I've been teaching them simple games like Flappy Bird, Di like that one game where if your internet goes out on like Google, where you have to hop, uh, a, like hop um, cactuses and then Fruit Ninja. And like, I'm currently teaching a Frogger game. I know Fruit Ninja. Yeah. I've played that. Yeah. <laughs> This is incredible. So you're teaching a class. Do you, do you like teaching? Do you think you get into it? Yeah, I uh, enjoy teaching and um, I'm actually uh, getting uh, better marks in school because I'm teaching this class. But um, I was going to say, do they pay you a teacher's salary? Sadly not. No. Nope. Do you get to go into the teacher's lounge? Nope. Free coffee? Nope. What? Well, well, better marks is pretty good. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much for showing me your project. This is incredible. Yeah. You're amazing. Thanks.